What's up, Seal Gang? Today I'll be doing a get ready with me. It's like two something in the morning. I look busted. I got to wash, take a shower. I'm gonna take a shower so I can wash. So you see, I need to do my fucking hair because it look busted. And I'm gonna be practicing. If you didn't read by the thumbnail or the title already, um, I am going to a Bath and Body Works interview. I haven't posted in a week and I feel like I haven't posted in a month. I need to keep it moving because it's never a time where I can make a video, but I'm going to interview. So I'm like, okay, let me just capture this real quick. Cause I can't go more than one week without posting at least one video. I feel empty, like I didn't do anything. I'm kind of tired of wearing six braids to the back. It's like my go-to every time and I'll be trying not to do it, but but anyways, I'm gonna continue this as soon as I get out of the shower, I guess. So I'm currently in the process of doing my hair. I was gonna do the six braids over again. I'm honestly tired of six braids. And I just was straightening my hair just in case I do the six braids, but I think I'm gonna rock a ponytail. But while I was straightening my hair, I realized how long my hair has gotten. Like the last the last time my I seen my hair length, it was probably about here or a little bit longer. This right here is like right here. It was never that long. See, the reason my hair is growing so well is because I use protecting styles. It could be like this, it could be in twisties, it don't matter. I don't keep my hair, my scalp moisturized because, you know, I'll be forgetting things. When I um, do my hair, I don't wash it often. I wash it like every two months or three. And you probably like that strike point, but the rules are, if you want your hair to grow, try not to touch it as much. So that's why I keep it in protective styles and that's why you keep it moisturized like three times a week or maybe barely wash it. Like when you don't touch your hair and do its thing, but my ends need to be clipped. But my hair has gotten so long. If you know me and you see me approaching, you see my length recently. This is getting this is getting long. I wish I had a white shirt. I would put on a white shirt. And I will show y'all, but yeah. I'm gonna finish up and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I've made it back in my room. Fresh out the shower, fresh from doing my hair. And I'll see y'all guys later, cause it's like six something in the morning. But I'll see y'all later for right now. Wait for my clothes to get the dryer and I'm gonna be practicing some Bath and Body Works interview questions and everything. And, I just, and I'm gonna say prayer because I've been praying a lot lately. And uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. You probably can barely see me, but I got dressed and everything. Another thing is, I'm risking it. This is how bad I want the job, right? So I woke up a couple times, I wasn't feeling sick. Okay, I woke up this time and I just feel nauseous. Like I'm just about to throw up everywhere. So my aunt told me to cancel, but I said that if I want the job that bad, I'm gonna go anyway. So, and you know, interviews don't really go for a long time. It'd be like a couple of minutes. I'm supposed to go at four, but I told my cousin I'll go at two. What's wrong with going two hours early? Hopefully she don't have nobody else that she got the ex. Cause I thought I would be able to, cause you know, go to work. I don't think I'm gonna be able to because if I go there, then that's pushing it. I'm probably gonna throw up. Cause I feel like I'm gonna throw up right now. Um, I'm trying to make this video and get it out for you. I'm just trying to go in there and nail this interview and get this job back to my works because, you know, I don't think I can continue and tell me anymore and I need something to fall back on if I quit again. It's not, it's not her. It's just fast food is not for me right now. I don't think it will ever be. I know y'all probably can barely see me, but my clothes is in the dryer again because they were still wet. I got on some wet jeans. They're technically air drying right now. because I applied on Indeed, so it's kind of weird. And then this one day, and then I got a call, like, on the 10th. And I applied early that morning, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. At, like, 2 p.m., I called. After I called, yesterday, on my way to work, they called me, 
my phone was ringing and it's kind of weird because don't nobody called me because I don't want to talk to nobody because you know they called me and it was just like hi is this shiny you know how they how they do and I, it was like so shocking and I was so excited and I'm like yeah like whatever they offer me first and I'll try to be open about it like here I'm open here I'm open at this time I'm open here I'm so excited for this interview and I'm gonna be energetic usually I don't really be energetic I be calm in focus i need to be energetic and focused i'm not nervous at all usually i'd be nervous to go to interviews i'm not even nervous the only thing that's like striking me right now is my stomach yeah i've never been the type to do fast food before i started working before I my first job which was kfc i've been told myself that fast food was not for me and it's crazy how i predicted that so well I'm like fast food is not for me but everyone's like oh you gotta start from the bottom to get to the top which is retail because that's what i wanted to do Oh, that's what I want to do. And that's why I am taking this. Yanni, if you're watching this, girl, <laughs> you know what to do. I wasn't going to wear my natural hair, but I'm glad I did. The ponytail came out decent. You know how you try to practice something real quick before you actually do it, do it? And then by the time you actually do it, or if you already done it once and you try to do it again, it don't always come out right. That's the first time. So when I did this bun, I was practicing to see how it looked. Once I got it there, I'm like, if I take this down, I know it ain't gonna come out the same. So I'm gonna just leave it here. Um, but yeah, so I'm just trying. I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just see how. I'm gonna try to freestyle this, see how it goes. And uh, hopefully, I don't forget to put earrings in my ears. This one's getting folded by the hair scarf. But that's all for that. I'll be back whenever I have an, another reason to hop back on the camera. My forehead. Yeah, my forehead. The line on my this is like not even faked. Like I used to fake my buns by like doing some type of ponytail trick. I didn't even do no ponytail trick. And all I'm gonna do because it's for G is I'm going to try to lay it down tomorrow because I put some patch control on her. She's trying to lay the edges down. But I don't really do, I wish I could see where I sleep. But I don't really do the whole putting gel around my hair. It's just gonna shrink up and it's gonna defeat the purpose of me flat ironing it. So. Anyways, I'm about to wrap my hair up again and let it sit a little bit more and then I'll leave around close to 2.30 and hopefully I get there by 2.30, I don't know. Just walking around because the interview starts at four and I believe it's a group interview and I was not prepared for that, but I'm just walking around right now, so. I forgot to vlog the fact that I just went to Michael's and bought two white shirts. But guess what? Miss Ma'am got hired on the spot. So right now I'm waiting for a lift so I can go to Insomnia. I don't have my clothes because I've been here since two. And it was me and two other girls who got hired on the spot. I was looking for a long sleeve one. They didn't have it. The sweater cost like $17. Meanwhile, their shirts cost like $3 for each one. And I also need like a white cardigan because I'm anemic and it's going to get cold. So... Made it to my second job with no uniform. Mm. So basically, it's around 12. We close at 1 and I get off at 1 30. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I'm about to go home and kick my seats up because them shit is crying. And another thing is, I don't have on boots. Those shit's on. And so basically, yeah, look at my hair. This shit is horrible. But yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit more about the whole getting the job of Rest and Body Works and everything or whatnot when I get home. Alright, so don't mind the loud ass TV in the background. I'm gonna film regardless. So I'm gonna show you the shirts that I got from Michael since I couldn't show you when. I went in there because for one, I was on the phone and I had no idea it was going to be a group interview because you know lately since it happened, a, a lot of places don't do group interviews anymore for right now. They do like one-on-one. Um, -on -one. And so basically, yeah, I ended up going to Michael's to get a white shirt because I'm a Bath and Body Works employee. And so basically, I got one that's a small. 
It smells so good because it's new. I was looking for a, sh a long sleeve one. I didn't have long sleeve. Then I have another one that's a medium because I like my oversized shirts a little bit. You know, the bigger ones I sleep in, but oversized shirts, you know, every girl got like an oversized shirt that they wear with jeans or whatnot. Um, but I am going to get me a cardigan, a sweater, and a long sleeve white shirt off of Shein. So, because you know, it's knocking winter time, I'm a seasonal associate, so therefore I'm going to be working in the winter time as well. And if I'm working in the winter time, I need something to cover my arms because I'm going to be cold. So, yeah. Anywho's, anyways. Yeah. I'm going to try them on, and I'm going to come back. Now, you know, as a kid, you don't really do white. My, don't know my hair is for me. Put my shirt on. You don't really do white because you don't want to mess it up. What I do with white stuff, whoa. What I do with my white clothes or white anything, I separate it from a lot of things by its dolo because I don't want nothing on it. And I'm so afraid to mess these shirts up that I plan to hand wash them and then put them in a the dryer because i don't want to end up washing them with other stuff and then it, it changes color so i might try the other one on and i'll be right back to me it feel like it just it looks like it fits the same i feel like they the same length the width is probably the difference but other than that yeah they're the same to me so yeah um mata when he goes well, where he's supposed to go with his loud ass tv I'll come back and my hair probably gonna be really really fucked up because I'm about to take it down. Um, but I'll come back and I'll sh I will tell y'all everything and how everything went. And I'll have this video uploaded this week. But until then.